Hello friends, hope you all are doing great and welcome to my testimonial series and uh, today I have with me Sunil Munod. Hi Sunil, how are you doing? I'm good, dog. thank you. Uh, well, before we start uh, listening to Sunil's story, let's understand what is he exactly doing and what uh, is he into. Sunil is a chartered accountant by profession and he's a senior fund manager with ICICI Prudential. He's a fitness enthusiast and also a trekker. He's extensively trekked in the Sayadris and more recently attempted the Stoke Kangri Peak in Himalayas. He's also trekked the Everest Base Camp and uh, he's been with us for a long time. So uh, over to you, Sunil. Let's start with you. Uh, so, well, even before the lockdown had started, uh, how was it that you were managing your fitness levels? What were you exactly doing about your fitness? Uh, so, uh, thanks, uh, Sudarshan. First and foremost, uh, thanks for having me here. And uh, yeah, I think, uh, you know, as, as you rightly said, it's been almost, what, uh, five years now with uh, Joints in Motion. And uh, so, I, I'll, I'll say this, I started my fitness journey pretty late uh, in the day, you know, almost in my late 30s. Before that, I was pretty much living a very sedentary lifestyle and, uh, you know, literally no activity, except for some treks here and there, which I used to do, which was more as a hobby, not as a, as a fitness thing. Uh, but apart from that, nothing. Uh, so I started with, you know, playing some sport, uh, started with tennis, did not enjoy much, started squash, got hooked to squash a bit, then started gym, but then it got a little monotonous and then joints and motion happened and that kind of, you know, really hooked me into it. So from that, I think the journey has been pretty exciting, uh, you know, pretty nice, I would say. And, uh, you know, I'm hooked on to an extent where, you know, if there's a gap of more than a week, 10 days, you know, then the body starts asking you that, you know, you know, what are you doing? You know, you, why, why aren't you exercising enough? Um, so yeah, that's, that's where I am. So it's been a fantastic journey, yes. Yeah, you're more like a pro now in your group because uh, people keep looking up to you, you know, when it comes to fitness. So everybody keeps asking, where is uh, Sunil if you're not seen for two, three days? That's the that's <laughs> the kind of level you're into now. So uh, what went through your mind when you, when you came to know about this lockdown and you realized that possibly things may have to be, you know, closed and um, we'll, not sure, we'll not be sure about how we can take this fitness journey ahead? What went through your mind? So, yeah, I mean, the first thing that struck me when the lockdown was announced was that, uh, you know, first and foremost, I was pretty convinced this is not going to last for only two weeks. It's going to remain longer and uh, it's going to throw many things completely out of gear, including the fitness routine. And uh, talking specifically about the fitness routine, I was very worried that, you know, I've been, I've become uh, with great effort, I became very regular uh, for the last many years. And now this is just going to go completely off track. And, uh, you know, I don't know how am I going to cope up with it. So, yes, I was worried. Um, I did try doing exercise at home for the, for the first week, for the second week, uh, you know, but it's not the same. You know, I was cheating. Uh, instead of doing 20 reps, I was doing only 10 or 12 and getting it up. Instead of one, I was just doing it up in 35, 40. And trying to convince myself that I did it, it's okay. You know, that kind of a thing. So, yeah. um, yes, I was, I was a bit worried uh, to begin with, yes. So how come you came across this online training platform? Well, thanks to you. I mean, I got the message from Joints in Motion that uh, you guys are starting the online uh, uh, exercise routine. And I was like, yes, this is it. I mean, uh, you know, the minute you have a trainer and you're exercising with a group of people, you know, the motivation level automatically just, uh, you know, comes up. And uh, that's exactly what you need. Um, so, yes, I mean, uh, the, the closest you can get to an offline workout is a Zoom workout that you started. And it was a great opportunity. So, you know, I was, I was pretty happy when you started that. So, it's been almost 45 days now. So, what has been your experience uh, in the last 45 days with the workout? So, as I said, I was pretty happy when it started. Um, I wouldn't say it is, it is 100% as effective as an offline workout. It can never be. But I will say that it is, you know, we are 80-85% there. And uh, the only two things, small things which, which, uh, which you miss really is, you know, it's, it's online. So in your home, you are still alone, you know, doing it. You don't have a group of friends with you whom you can see and work out with, you know. So that, that level of motivation is slightly not tad missing. Yeah. Second is, you know, the trainers when you're offline, you know, they have the ability to correct you, you correct your posture, you know, guide you. Which is, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it is not being done online, yeah. but, you know, you still, uh, you know, there is that, that. Know, small element of, uh, you know, uh, missing. 
uh, when you are when you are online. You know, offline is just better. But but having said that, you know, you are eighty eighty five percent there, and that yeah. itself is fantastic in this Absolutely. in this environment. Absolutely. And what have been your? Have you seen any different results from the normal workout that you were doing, the offline workout that you were, you were doing? Have you seen any different results uh, in this last forty five days because of the workout formats? Well, my goal and object was pretty simple. That once the lockdown is lifted, I should still fit into my pants when I get back to office. You know, so um, you know. Well, to be honest, I think I just wanted the fitness, uh, you know, uh, journey to continue and not have a long break. Yeah. And pretty much that has been achieved because you know the, this online thing is uh, is absolutely great. So, what is your perspective now with you know the trends changing? I'm sure you have a lot of inclination for offline. but then even we coming up at 85% being on into online training itself is a big thing so what's your take on the perspective or for people who are not even thinking about it what what do you feel how can online training help these guys i think online is fantastic to be honest well uh, to each his own uh, given a choice between online and offline i would prefer offline yeah. um, having said that you know many people would just simply prefer online because uh you know simple things you know you run out of excuses you know offline you have to travel go to the gym spend that extra time here all you need to do is just connect to a zoom meeting yeah. um and and as i said i mean it's 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 pretty much highly effective you know leave that 10% out but you know it's 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 actually very effective so to my mind this is a great platform this can only grow and for many people who have uh, you know who do not have access to a good facility in their immediate neighborhood for them this could be a fantastic boom so you know i would uh, you know i'm sure you're thinking on these lines but you know an unsolicited advice from my side if i were to give was that you should really expand this platform so what is your take on uh, what is your one message to the audience that are uh, actually you know uh, waiting for you to your waiting for to hear from you what would be your one message uh, through this interview well a uh, message is pretty simple i mean you need to continue with the journey i mean fitness has no destination it's a lifelong journey and you need to keep enjoying this journey you know i i, I get reminded of this uh, you know when the incident you know family doctor of mine many years back 8 10 years back you know he told me that you need to live a sedentary lifestyle you know you work hard yeah, i know you're going to make a lot of money you'll buy a nice fancy mercedes someday एंड उसमें खटारा बॉडी को बैठा के घूमोगे क्या फायदा तुम्हारा बॉडी को मर्सिडीज बनाओ दैट्स दैट्स यू 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 नो 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 सो सो काइंड ऑफ इट इट स्टक स्टक विद मी एंड 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 व्हेन आई आई स्टार्टेड स्टार्टेड एवर सिंस दिस इज़ वन थिंग दैट रियली लुक फॉरवर्ड टू एज सेड देयर इज़ अ ब्रेक बॉडी स्टार्ट्स आस्किंग you know uh, overall community approach for exercises because a lot of people ask us ye kab tak karna padega kab tak karenge you know and then you make them realize that exercise is not for a day or for a month it is it is something which you have to do throughout your life maybe it's like like you eat every day you have to exercise every day just to ensure that you have a mercedes you have your own mercedes so that's that's, that's very important and you know the other thing i would say is you know pick something that you enjoy doing you know yeah. so i enjoy these exercise routines i like trekking you know i enjoy these things i do those things i hate running i don't run at all but again to each his own some people absolutely, absolutely love running you know so yeah, please absolutely. do what you enjoy and if you do what you enjoy you will just sustain it over a much longer period of time agree 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 so guys th- thank you so much sunil that was really a uh, insight for us and the audience also so thank you so much for sparing your time and sharing your thoughts with us i'm sure people will love this interview and guys that was sunil munod from icici prudential sharing his journey and uh, i'm sure this inspires you and helps you to take a few steps for fitness so looking forward to see you all in our next uh, session with our an- another testimonial till then this is dr sudarshan singh signing off thank you sunil once again thank you so thank much thank you thank you sudarshan thank you for having me bye